Hello, this is Reverend James Hutchings and I'm looking ahead to Sunday the 12th of May here at St Mary Barnes. This is a very special time of the year in the church's calendar. It's the culmination of the Easter season as we celebrate Ascension in these past few days and we look ahead to Pentecost Sunday, the gifting of the Holy Spirit to all people on the 19th of May. Uh, and it's also a particular time where we uh, seek to come closer to God in prayer, uh, both for ourselves and on behalf of others. And as we look around the state of the world at the moment, it is indeed a good time to be called to prayer for that world, to pray for peace and for justice uh, for all who face darkness at this time. Uh, so looking ahead to this Sunday, we have our usual pattern of services at 8, uh, 10 and at 6 o'clock in the evening, we have our service of wholeness and healing and also uh, baptisms at 11.45. Uh, it's also the start of Christian Aid Week, so do please get involved with that and support uh, the really important work that Christian Aid do. All of the details of that and everything else, of course, will be in the weekly news as usual. So I'm going to uh, read the Gospel reading for this coming Sunday, uh, and then uh, we can reflect on that. It's from John's Gospel, chapter 17, beginning at verse 6. I have made your name known to those whom you gave me from the world. They were yours and you gave them to me and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you have given me is from you. For the words that you gave to me, I have given to them and they have received them and know in truth that I came from you and they have believed that you sent me. I am asking on their behalf. I am not asking on behalf of the world, but on behalf of those whom you have, you gave me, because they are yours. All mine are yours and yours are mine, and I have been glorified in them. And now I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world and I am coming to you. Well, that's just a few of the verses from this Sunday's uh, gospel reading and they're from the prayer of Jesus uh, after the Last Supper, uh, and it's a very intimate uh, invitation into his prayer to God the Father about how he has been given the precious care of the disciples uh, and by inference all who follow him uh, by his Father and how he has indeed carried out that mission uh, and he is praying to God the Father for their protection uh, and he is also intimating that he is coming to the Father, in other words, looking ahead to the ascension, which we have been celebrating in, in these past few days. And it might be helpful as we think about the ascension uh, and this particular time of year to think of a series of arrows. This is a simplistic way that I've found helpful this year to think about it. So the first arrow is the one going upwards. Uh, very obviously, we think about the ascension as Jesus returning to his heavenly Father, uh, and how uh, he takes to his father all of humanity's, uh, all of the, the burden of humanity, all the care of humanity into the very heart of God and how we are therefore taken up into the divine through Jesus's ascension to his father. Uh, so that is the upward uh, part of the movement that we think about on ascension. There's also a very important outward movement uh, which is that Jesus says to his uh, followers that they are to um, spread the good news. They are to make disciples of all nations. An intrinsic part of uh, following Jesus Christ is to seek to pass on um, the uh, wonder and the importance of uh, his uh, message and of following him. And uh, that is, those are Jesus's final words to his disciples before the ascension, that they are to make dis disciples of all nations. So there's this, that outward movement uh, at ascension. But in a sense, balancing that, there is an inward movement. Uh, perhaps we should do it like that, an inward movement like to our very selves. And that comes through the gifting of the Holy Spirit that we look forward to at Pentecost. That's what Jesus says uh, as he ascends. He says, uh, wait for the gift of the Holy Spirit, and that is the gift of God with us. So with the ascension, we don't look up and think, oh, Jesus has gone. No, it's the reverse, that he is now able to be with each and every one of us through the Holy Spirit. And finally, 
there is the promise at the ascension that uh, Jesus will return to us. So there is, as you might think, a downward arrow um, that uh, we look forward in the fullness of time to Jesus as our loving and forgiving judge returning uh, uh, and for all of creation to be redeemed in his name. So uh, we might like to think of all of those things as we celebrate the ascension and look forward to the Pentecost. Jesus's ascension, uh, the way that we are sent outwards, the way that we are able to do that by the gift of the Holy Spirit coming to us and that we look forward in hope to the redemption of all things by Jesus's returning again uh, in due time. So I'm going to finish now with the words of the collect for this uh, coming Sunday. Let us pray. O God, the King of glory, you have exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. We beseech you, leave us not comfortless, but send your Holy Spirit to strengthen us and exalt us to the place where our Saviour Christ is gone before, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.